Hello YouTube, it's Acar here. I am doing a video on some new plants that I had purchased um just a little while ago. I got these in the mail I think two days ago. And um I wanted to do this episode to showcase these plants and to mention where I had got them from. Uh this company that I got them from is uh Logies over here. If it will focus. There's the information in Logies, and uh, this particular plant right here is the uh, Stevia Rebidina. This plant is Stevia Rebidina Sweet Leaf, I believe that's how it's pronounced. And yeah, you see here, this plant um, is um, quite healthy. And you're going to notice uh, with all the plants that they are all really, really healthy. And so, come these Logies. Um, their website is Logies.com. Logies.com right there. And I do highly recommend you buy your plants from them. And I will explain why, even though you'll probably be able to see as I go on in the video. This here is the... Um, this here is this plant, Piper Nigrum, Piper Nigrum Black Pepper Plant. And uh, as you see, this is a tropical plant. And, it, well, yeah, this plant is a tropical plant, and it is uh, really quite healthy. Only one leaf has a little bit of uh, crumpling uh, from packaging, but that's to be expected as with anything you um, order online. But I have ordered from some other companies where I have bought a plant. In that particular case, it was a banana plant. And it was very, um, it came in half rotted. It was only about this tall, the banana plant, so obviously it was not at all ready to be removed from the mother plant but uh, that's what they had uh, done in that case and um, it was super super thin the banana plant was thinner than the stalk and this was not from Logies this was another website I'm not gonna mention it um, but yeah that's that's something that you will get from a lot of companies if you order a plant not from Logies you will never ever get that from Logies. I can say that in confidence because I have ordered from them many times in the past over the past few years and I have never had not one plant come in damaged or um or severely injured or dying or or dry or anything. It was really um they've always come in healthy. So yeah. This is the uh black pepper plant. And uh, it'll be nice to see how this grows. Something to mention on here, which I've seen on one of their YouTube videos. And, and you may notice, if you look underneath the leaves, and it happens more so as it matures. I don't know if you could see, but there are small little black dots. You may be able to see better on here. No, you can see it worse. Um, but if you could see... You can see there are small black dots. It's not zooming in, but something people will find a lot of times when they grow this plant that there's black dots underneath the leaves, and they will get nervous not knowing what they are. Um, and from what I saw from their video, it's nothing to worry about. It's not a sickness. It's not an illness. Every single one of these gets it as far as I know. And, um, all it is is sugar that has, um, burst out of the cells of the leaves and has, uh, dried up over time. And when it, when it dries and, uh, starts to decompose, it happens to be, uh, black in color. So it's nothing to worry about. It's not sickness. It doesn't harm the plant. It's on the underside where it's not even, um, using really much photosynthesis, photosynthesis if any. So it's not something to worry about. And, uh, so yeah, that's, that's the pepper plant. And this plant I had already repotted. It was in a similar size pot, a little bit larger. But this is an orange tree that came in with it that I had ordered with these. 
And as you can see, it's a very healthy plant. It's a little bit crunched over here from this, um, this shoot coming out here, this branch. But that's, you know, that'll settle out in a few days. That's, you know, completely normal to have for, for a while, for a week or two maybe. And, um, it should sort itself out as the plant gets sacked back together if you're doing everything right. And yeah, this plant is absolutely great. And from the plants that I've had, none of them were really root bound. And, uh, if you can tell, this one is probably the healthiest out of these three so far. Um, it's, they really, they specialize in tropical plants. They do a lot of great plants that, um, you won't find anywhere else a lot of times or will be, um, much more expensive elsewhere. I know a local nursery has, uh, banana trees for, um, maybe $120, $150 at times during the peak season. And I got this one from them a few months ago. I think it may have been around six months or so. I got this one from them for, I think it was $30 or something like that. It may have been a little bit less, a little bit more, but around there, $30, I think, in total. Um, maybe more around 20 But, yeah, it really is. It was cheaper. It was um, came in very healthy. Uh, you can see that on one of my past videos. I have, um, on some of my past videos, you have seen this plant uh, several times before if you've been watching my videos. If not, you can go check that out. I'll probably leave a link to that video here. So you could check that out. And yeah, this thing is really um growing great. It had a pup here that I had just recently removed uh for um for cuz a friend had wanted it that I had promised them a um a banana pup with the last banana tree that I had, but that plant died before I had it before the pup had a chance to mature. So even though in general, and this is uh coming from the Logies uh website in general, you are always supposed to leave at least one pup for fruiting purposes. And that way when the mother plant pups, when, it, I, uh, when the mother plant fruits, that way when the mother plant fruits and it uh, dies from all the uh, fruit, that way the pup will be able to continue on. But uh, this plant is relatively young, um, this mother plant. And, um, so I figured, you know, I would cut it down, the, uh, pup, to, and start, uh, getting it ready to, uh, give away. Because, um, you know, I did promise it to my friend a while ago, about, about a year ago, really. And so I wanted to make sure I give it to them, and because this plant is small, um, and they need to be around three to four feet, roughly, to, uh, fruit, that it has plenty of time to produce a new pup, and with the Super Dwarf Cavendish, uh, they are very, they produce a lot of those offshoots, so I wasn't too worried about it, but in general, you don't want to remove the pups, especially if you're looking for fruit production. I only did it because a friend wanted one that was um, overdue, and, um, and, uh, and my judgment led me to believe that this, pup ha this plant has plenty of time. So, yeah. That's th that's that. Hold on, hold on. So yeah, I gotta wrap up now. Um, these are the plants. I will be posting a link to their website and down below in the description and right here. And you could feel free to uh, check that out. Thanks for watching and please check out their website. And uh, if you're looking to buy any uh, plants for your gardening this year. Please check them out and consider them as an option. If you have any questions, you can ask me or their customer service. Whenever I have questions, I ask them, and they are very, very um, helpful and patient. So that's um, they are very quality, very quality. So do check them out, and I will see you later. Bye.